Welcome back to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists. This week on the show, move over Vanderpump Rules. There's a new ensemble of wildly sexy, interesting, and dramatic employees. And they're at the Build-A-Bear in the Glendale Galleria. That's right. This week, we talked to the cast of Build-A-Bitch Rules, the new hot, dramatic, and glitz and glamour filled uh, reality show following the employees of the Build-A-Bear at the Glendale Galleria. Now you might think there's not a lot of drama happening at a Build-A-Bear, <laughs> but you have no idea what you're in for. So sit back, relax, get your Bravo on, and it's time to build. Let's, Let's listen, listen in. in. I mean, Whoa. what is there to say, really? Rumors are just rumors, and people can think whatever they want to about me. It doesn't make anything less real, and it doesn't make anything less authentic. And that's all I have to say about the rumors on whether Chase and I are dating or not. That's all I have to say. Natasha, nobody even asked. Nobody even asked you. I'm just like, saying that people all over social media and people all over real life are constantly asking about me and Chase no. and not to drag you Natasha, into this, Chase, but... Natasha, we went... It, they told us to say your name and where you're from. Okay, and I just wanted to use my platform to um, spread awareness about how there are some people out to get me with the various principles, but... But it's not, it's do, not your platform. We're all doing this. It's yeah. not right. your thing. I mean, it's right. barely a platform. I've never even heard of this podcast. Yeah. Natasha, please! Natasha, please get it together! Please! Oh please! Look, I'm just, all I know is what's in my heart, and I know that my motivations are true, and my motivations are real, and I don't have any ulterior motives here. So that's all I have to say. And where I don't are you from? <laughs> Laguna Beach. Okay, next. Hey, what's up? Um... <laughs> My name is Jude, uh, and I don't really love the drama. I'm just here for the bears. <laughs> and I am from um, uh, the Palisades. I grew up in the Palisades. And again, uh, not here for the drama, just here for the art of the bears. <laughs> okay. You were the only one who was already working at the Build-A-Bear when this show started. Because a yeah. lot of us were... You know, I mean, we all came because we love Build a Bear, but there was like a, a, a casting through Bravo and everything. But you had it been was there crazy. For... All my friends got fired one day, and then you guys kind of showed up, and the camera showed up at the same day, and it kind of just changed everything for me. Somehow, I made the cut though. They said they loved my soft heart and my sensitive kind of approach, and they also mentioned that they would and could destroy me eventually. So, um, but I'm really excited to be here just for the bears. <laughs> Jude, it's also, Jude, it's also important you say your last name because my name is also Jude. And so we always differentiate ourselves by our last name. Oh so my if, God. If right. you want to say your name. Sorry, I'm Jude Turcotte. Jude T. Because we call yeah. you Turcotte. Not Judy, Jude T. Thank you. Jude T. <laughs> Jude T. Turcotte. Turcotte. Yeah. And um, I'm 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 Jude I'm Jude uh, Danimal and uh, so you're Jude D. I'm not Jude D. Don't call me Jude D. <laughs> Don't right, call so me Jude, Jude D. Jude D. No, you that's call me we, Danimal. That's why we always have to say our last name. You call me Jude Danimal. And... You call me but Danimal. So and why did I have to say my last name then? If we call you Danimal. <laughs> because if someone says Jude, we have to know who's saying it. Because everyone calls me by Danimal, but sometimes they say Jude. Okay, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. So, J Danimal, um, where are you from? Danimal is me. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> I'm from Montrose. You just feel very confused about it. I said Danimal. I'm not calling myself Danimal, dude. I'm not confused. I know who I am. I've Guys, always known who I am. This drama is out of control. <laughs> and we really need to rein it in because I'm I'm here because I care about the bears. And like I think that's what we all came to do. We all moved to LA from suburbs of LA to um, work at the bears because we care about that. So I just think we have to remember like why we're here. Okay. No, I mean, I'll I mean, focus. I don't. I would speak for yourself there because I was brought in strictly on sort of a security basis because 
there's just been a lot of theft happening at the Build-A-Bear Galleria, <laughs> and I'm just kind of the person who's going to sort of keep a watch on all you kids that are coming in and working here, and just there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of nonsense, so. I don't Love even know you. what's, I don't even know what's going on. You're a time. part of the family. You're yeah, part tell of the them family. your name, because you have somehow and made I'm... it into the A plot of pretty much every episode we shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'm I'm Sylvia. Um, I don't usually disclose my last name just because privacy reasons, but uh, especially on something like this. But uh, I'm Sylvia, and I'm from the area. <laughs> I'm from the area. Can you so. tell us a little bit about your background? I've been working security for the last 20, 25 years. Uh, just usually local malls. Uh, I used to be on Segway, now I'm on foot, because they kind of got rid of... That was a trend for a while, but they got rid of it, so now I'm on foot again. Was that sad? To lose your Segway? Uh, I prefer foot. I have more control. <laughs> you had less control on, an, on a vehicle Actually, you drove? Actually, that makes sense, I guess, because how would you... I guess the hard thing about a Segway is getting off the Segway, you know? Mm -hmm. So if I was chasing a perp, it was usually like, I would, I'd go on my say, I'd get there maybe a little bit faster, but then I'd fall mm. off sometimes. Mm. And Anyways, it's crazy. You can talk about that, your no, it's crazy amazing. how you got I added. love Sylvia. Sylvia is just incredible. Sylvia is yeah. like our mom. Sylvia is like mm -hmm. the mom. She's kind of like the mother. Yeah. You dad. guys are, yeah. Look, I love all you kids and I'm here to protect everybody. So yeah, a mom yeah. who's like sort of dating my boyfriend, but whatever. Yeah. Oh my God. I, <sighs> Natasha, just, I can't even, it was one time in the back yeah. room of the, in the stock room. Yeah, Wait, I know. you're admitting it? No, Wait. No, no, I'm... Chase and, and Sylvia dated? Out. Wait, Chase and Sylvia it, dated? And the Animal. truth comes out. Animal. And this is what we've been saying, because there are some people who are here for different intentions than what they say they are. And that's all I have to say about that. Actions speak louder than words. But Sylvia, there's no bad blood, bad blood, bad blood between us. <laughs> because we- Bears don't have blood. Because the bears have don't have blood. That's what we always they say. They have stuff. There's they no have bad stuffing. blood. Yeah. There's no there's bad stuff. There's bad stuff, but no bad blood. They have cotton. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. I am Katie Lawn. And um, I, what can I say? I dress the bears. I wear the clothes. I am so tiny, I can wear the clothes. Um, and that's kind of like my bit on the show is that I am always putting the bears clothes on my body cause I'm just like so silly. And that's just the Kaylee Lawn way. I feel Kaylee, like you're yeah. underselling it. You're also an amazing, talented indie songwriter, like singer songwriter. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, your I mean, album, Tiny Clothes, where can people stream it? Um, I'm working on where I can put it. Uh, you mm. always say you struggle oh. with the upload part. It's <laughs> such a hard part. I just don't do producing. Well, I mean, Katie Lon, so hard. Katie Lon, you know, you know I want to help you because I run the voice boxes at the Build-A-Bear and I'm trying to get your song in there. I know. Just like a little jingle for the voice. Yeah. <laughs> And we all saw your show at the Roxy, that one song you did on stage. It was yes, amazing. Yes, it was a slowed down version of uh, Vanessa Carlton's um, Ordinary Day. <laughs> yeah, I just never even really heard that song. Slow, yeah, really, <laughs> just really slow. Today, just an ordinary day. <laughs> wow. Just trying to get by. My girl and is so talented. Your your release party for that song that we had um, in the store uh, got so crazy. No, for sure. And so much happened in that night and we didn't realize like with all the drama that went down that night that it only lasted the entire length of you singing that one song. Yeah. So from start to finish, like that's where a lot of the stuff that you're gonna see in the trailer for season one, yes. which out streaming um, next week, by the way, that's I think. Crazy. Should but be I, soon, yeah, it's really great. Yeah. Should be I'm really so soon. excited about it. Really, the trailer is streaming everywhere and we're so excited about that.
<laughs> We're really excited. You can watch the trailer on Apple TV Plus, on Prime Video, on Mubi, YouTube. Mubi, you can watch video. it on Mubi. Yes, you, you can watch you it on You have Mubi. to search it, though. It doesn't, it's not like an ad. You have to search uh, Build a Bitch Rules trailer, and it comes up as a yeah. streaming option. One you word, it will not come up. It. One word, it won't come up if it isn't one word. Yeah. 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 But you can find the trailer everywhere, guys. You can stream it. You can get a a, a Peacock membership and you can watch the trailer. It's and great. please stream it because based on how well the trailer does, they're going to put out the show. It's the yeah. first ever show they're doing that they're using the trailer as a pilot. They Yeah, they said <laughs> if the trailer doesn't do well, we shut the store down. <laughs> and we delete we delete the uh so episodes. we're really pushing the trailer we're so really please pushing please go it. watch the trailer um this is kind of my only job um but yeah i know they they wanted us to kind of explore and be like just like tell everybody a little bit more about the show so like w i guess like for season one was there something that you guys learned or or took away um from um from the experience um that we had um with the uh with the uh crew coming in and um filming us and i and my um if there was one thing that you, you know, took away that would be awesome what do you mean jude so jude i think I get... it's time jude it's time for you to take another shot which jude <laughs> uh, judy judy <laughs> Jude T or Jude, Jude D? D. <laughs> Jude D. Look, Jude D. His name Jude is Danimal. I need He's to take another shot. He's Danimal. I need to take Danimal. another shot. No, you guys Jude know T. how triggering that is for me because last week I was drunk at Build a Bear and I accidentally sewed a girl's hand into her own bear. <laughs> that was a lot of legal work that I had to do on the back end after that. You Sylvia were doing the legal has, work? Sylvia doesn't <laughs> have the qualifications to be your paralegal, yet she is. And I had to handle all the lays on between the customer and the, the lawsuits that were bound to happen. Yeah, I did. You're right. I did to ask you to be. Yeah, I to just want to go ahead. No, it's a it's, no, you do it. To be completely honest, this show has just added so much work for me because <laughs> now everybody's talking to us and, and now I have to I'm, I'm moving actually homes. And I have to install more security into my house. Anyways, just keep going. We'll, well, well Sylvia. A lot of the, like, sort of, like, the managers and the general managers and the operations people who, like, keep the the store running and just kind of, like, Sylvia did so great on camera that they were like, okay, you can do more jobs. And slowly, it kind of seems like you're doing every job in the store Thank when you. we're not doing them. Thank you. Yeah, I actually don't. I haven't seen anybody else do work uh, for for a while now. Well, well uh, I mean, I don't uh, know about like we. Yeah, we work. We clock in and we clock out. We Sometimes work. drama happens, and I have to talk What's to somebody up? over by the stuffing machine. And you know, that's where we have a lot of quiet, deep, serious conversations where we kind of scream at each other and and. Throw hands sometimes if we have to. When's the last time that you sold a product, Jude? Danimal? Which one? Judy. Oh, Judy. Um, well, well, I I bought some uh, some bear moisturizer last week because I forgot mine at home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'm kind of a small business. I'm kind of a self-starter. I guess you could say I'm supporting local. I guess and for me, I'm not interested in selling personally. Like mm. for me, um, I think what I like to do is pick out the hearts with the kids and figure out what the heart means to them. So um, I'm not really um, personally um, interested um, in uh, something like that. So that's why. So that's why I ask, what was something that you guys um, learned about? the first season of this show that we filmed. Hey, Turcotte, how are those hosting classes coming, by the way? It's really good. So I signed up for an online stand-up slash hosting class, <laughs> and I'm doing really well. So far, the feedback has been very, very kind. You're really good, That's man. Awesome, You're way Jude. better than yeah. I've ever seen you be. Thank you. Didn't you uh, say it also doubles as traffic school? So yeah, so it's <laughs> it's a stand up hosting traffic school because you know I got that DWI three times. I'm never drunk. I just scuba. always have open liquor. <laughs> I think you always have open liquor, and that's just because you're. 
Right. You say you're not drunk, but DWI is way more strict than DUI. <laughs> it's driving while intoxicated yeah. as opposed to driving yeah. under the influence. I thought it was driving with intoxication. No. <laughs> intoxication. Okay, this intoxication supplies. supplies. Yeah. yeah. It's with intoxication supplies. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. So yeah. something's going on. Because I got to go talk to my lawyer. Sylvia, can we just jump on the yeah. side Zoom? Jump well, we can sidebar really? after this, sweetie. Great. Thank you. I think the thing that I've been – like, to answer your great question, Jude T., um, I think what's been interesting about the show is, like – because, like, we know of the other, um, the other, like, Vanderpump-adjacent shows, like – and I think they're trying to, like, kind of, like – Instead of like throwing drinks on each other, they're really pushing us to throw the stuffing at each other, and right. it just doesn't. It doesn't really. It's hit very for light. Me. Yeah, it's very light. Yeah, I it's tried just because like, you know Cotillion. We had a fight. And Cotillion, yeah. I she's, like, she's saying my name wrong on purpose. It's Katie Long. Well, you fucking bitch. You're kind oh. of acting uh, like a my name isn't Cotillion. You are acting like a cotillion, so I will call you a cotillion, oh, you prissy bitch. So I'm acting like a pageant for young women to put themselves out there? You are acting like an antiquated bear. You are acting like the Build-A-Bear that we give to the prissy girls. Who Natasha, could... stop! Stop! Look, I, I call it like I see it. I see, call now it like here, I see it. See, the instinct for me right now is to hit you in the face, but on the show, they would have us throw stuffing. And that's like... Yeah. Just like, like like shut up, and, Natasha. You know, I tried to throw stuffing at you, but it, it didn't seem to deter you at all. And that's what I'm. I'm just like, I don't know. I, I I just I just wish I just wish we had alcohol in the store. And I think that's the one flaw about the show is like I think that that we would be better at our jobs if like the parents could kind of like come in for a drink and it was sort of like a like a fun hot sort of like hangout spot. Um, but yeah. that's just me. Like, it's kind of hard for me because we're going through so much adult drama and our clientele is so young. So it's kind of hard to go back and forth sometimes to, you know, screaming yeah. at somebody about having sex with somebody else in the stock room while I'm also like helping somebody build an Ursula bear for their pre-K first it's day. It's hard because we kind of have to fight in code. Like, yeah. Dan, like Jude, Judy, you and I like had this sort of like altercation where right. we basically had to talk in like TikTok censorship language. Like, right. I kept telling you to un unalive yourself because you corned my my boyfriend, and yeah, I like. And I, I like you, how you I, censored I, I boyfriend. <laughs> I corned, yeah, so, so, and, and, <laughs> yeah, I did corn your boyfriend, which actually means I uh, shot porn with your boyfriend. And you did, and like, I, uh, and I'm still not quite over it, but I'm yeah. willing to bury the horse shit because, like, <laughs> he, he, you're a, you're a borch and kind of a coot, and I, like, d um, oh my uh, gosh. Oh, oh no. A, I'm gonna fur porch and kind of a court. And uh, I I'm gonna I'm gonna frick you herb. <laughs> so it's not that secret. And I think with the some of the feedback from the kids have been we know what they're saying. Okay. Um, but Can I say should we we should stop asking kids for feedback? I really don't care what they think. Yeah. I we shouldn't like, be yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's just part of policy though. <sighs> yeah, Sylvia, it was your policy. You decided to do it, huh? I think that just for me, the kids are the most important. They, they're trying to get a good experience. Okay, here we go. Me and Sylvia are finally having it out. I think, <laughs> I think, I think you actually might be a little misguided in that regard. What do you mean, Jude? Jude? Jude Turcotte? I think I I mean that some of the rules that you have chosen to to put to put in place have been a little misguided since you got the roles that you have now jude what do you know about instilling security and rules and what would you change stop please stop yelling at me please stop yelling at me i mean, I, th I thought i was talking normal but what would you change jude you're the i mean look i do respect you because you're the only one in the group who actually cares about what they're doing at the store but you you're also not really doing anything well 
that's because I'm focused on the hearts aspect of it. I think the hearts have to be perfectly placed and <laughs> filled with love. So maybe, maybe check yourself and do you want to get dinner tonight? Uh, maybe. Oh Stop my God. fighting! I can't, I can't track your guys' fights. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> that, you guys are so lot. intense. <laughs> that was a it's lot. So, so much for me. Look at Natasha. Oh Look God. at Natasha. I didn't Look come here for drama. And this is like freaking me out. You guys have to get it together. Remember why we're all here. Sorry we're here about that. We're here for the bears. That was a lot for me to. I've been holding on for that to that for a couple of months, and that was a lot for me. And I'm sorry for showing that side of me to all of you guys. Jude, you Love have to get a grasp on your anger issues, dude. Who are you uh, talking to, yourself? What? Oh, me? I'm talking Damn, to the other Jude! Jude? <laughs> Turcot! So that is actually a lot of the problems. It's kind of like a mis <laughs> mistaken identity plot, comedy plot. Almost every episode has It's kind of Jude who's mistaken. on third. Yeah. It's a little bit... <laughs> who's on third very different than who's on first it's the third version of that <laughs> it's my favorite one because it's three times as better i wrote it i wrote who's on third so so just to maybe get this really not to um not to ignite a lot of stuff but is there anything that you guys maybe oh no regret? don't ignite don't oh. ignite is there anything that you guys maybe regret doing this season that maybe on second glance wasn't as good as you would think so i would say what went down at the oh are you okay you're out of breath yeah you don't you don't have to be hosting man i know you're trying to use your skills and you told all of us to let me host today I said, but you can it, guys can you please let me try to host this one i i need court need order to. i need to host this you don't need to andy cohen was available and you like really <laughs> got your agent to like fight for hosting this. you parked your car in for in front of his front door so he couldn't come <laughs> I yeah, parked I was it. being nice by saying agent. We all know what you did. I can't believe you took that car and completely locked him out of his house with a car. Well, he wasn't really interested in coming anyway. He kind of saw the car as a perfect excuse to not show up. And then, and then when he tried, I saw the footage because he posted it. When he tried to go through the back door, you took his car, your your car, and you drove really fast to the back door and locked him out. It was a game and then of you cat and mouse. Back and forth, and back and forth, and his house is obliterated, dude. And it's um, funny because he kind of just eventually gave up. Because yeah. if you're only blocking one at a time, you should be able to get out. But I guess enough time passed that he was yeah. like, you know what? Actually, whatever. I would say some of the biggest drama that I wanted to talk about today was kind of what went down with all five of us at the Glendale Gallery of Pride Parade this year. I think it was yeah. really intense and really crazy. And we Why don't really you explain what happened? So we got in a fight on the float and our float knocked into the Uniqlo float and that float ended up knocking into the um, chair massage float and that mas chair massage float started vibrating <laughs> so much that it vibrated the uh, uh, sewer system because it was over a manhole cover. And on top of all of that, Natasha was in a bad mood. And yeah, yeah, oh, and I should start shocking, with the worst part. Shocking, by the way, shocking. Shocking. Yeah. No. Oh, Sylvia. <laughs> Can I, Sylvia and, with the and, drama. And Sylvia, I'd love to sidebar with you on this for a second because I don't appreciate that. I think that that is not an accurate representation of my character. But I will say that was not my best moment, you know? You were in a I bad mood. I shouldn't have yelled at the people on the Club Libby Lou float. That wasn't nice. We basically do the same thing. We, we basically, like, operate in the same sphere and i felt threatened by that and i can take accountability and i can take accountability for that so, when we when we burned right? so many bridges with that pride float because when when as i'm saying when the manhole cover vibrated it caused all the shit in all of the toilets to shoot out and then it ruined everybody's float so when we go to the um the child to preteen retail softball games now no one talks to us claire's doesn't talk yeah. to us and I zoomies talks to us but it's weird before you got to the most important part of your story about that pride festival because it I, even though the toilets were la that way natasha was in such a bad mood that that's <laughs> like the thing that stays yeah 
Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, it, it's unfortunate. Like, and I, and I regret <laughs> what I regret is, um, the fact that everyone was so fake that I had to sort of scream and yell and put on a scene in that way. Why did you do that? Everybody was fake. Who was fake? Well, everyone was saying that I don't stuff the bears right. Everyone was saying that I don't stuff the bears with enough stuffing that I no, just No, you in a put a lot of stuffing balls. in, but no, and I don't want to start this fight again. Overstuff. You You overstuff put so it. much stuffing in the arm, there's not enough stuffing for the rest of the body. Well, I think you guys are understuffing the arms. You think that these bears don't go to the gym when like my bears promote a healthy lifestyle and they my look bears like Popeye. Your bears look but like bears, Popeye. You fucking you're... take that back. You they look like Popeye and you know guys, it! Guys, guys, Yarsi! Yarsi! No, they fucking don't. They do not look like Popeye. You I said Yarsi! That's what Popeye says! No, that's something I say independently. I say Yarsi when, when, when Yar sees some bullshit, okay? Whoa. Sylvia, I say don't that. pull out your gun. Sylvia, put your gun away. Sylvia! Whoa, 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 to be whoa, fair, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sylvia, I shoot her! Just shoot her dead! Guys, no, I just had to put it on the desk. It was getting in the way of my pants. Oh, Listen, okay. I just <laughs> wanted to say that she only overstuffs one arm. It's not that she makes it, and that is to, I just don't like that it looks like, you, yes, it looks like your bears go to the gym, but that they only work out one side of their body, and kids, kids don't, that, it's a terrible example to set. <laughs> Where are you going? Don't leave! Don't leave! Don't leave! Natasha, come back! Natasha, come back! Natasha, bring the The producers are running after her. She's trying to get in the car. The cameras are following you. The cameras are following you. I just can't. No, get them away from me because I can't right now. This is too much. This is every day. I don't want to talk to them. No, because Natasha. I'm trying to enjoy the release of my B12 subliminal line, and I can't even do that because everyone's being fake. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Whatever. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for lashing out that way. Um, and I give up forever to touch you. It's the let you feel me somehow. Jude, I've told you before, that song you wrote already exists. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God, <laughs> I made it up. You did I write it. I made it up. I made it up. I what can't believe it. It plays in the Build a Bell dream. store playlist at no, least twice a day. No, it came to me in a dream and I figured it out on guitar because I play you guitar. You figured it out. No, you looked up the chords. <laughs> no. You just know it from the playlist that plays in the store. And I don't want the world to see me because I don't think that they'd understand. It's in a movie from 30 years ago, Juju. everything's made to be broken. I just want you to know who I am. Who could Who could write that besides me? Mark Resnick of the Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> He's one of my favorite private clients. Can we talk about the big yeah. elephant Can in the room? Can we talk about when also, he came in? What? Can we talk about when he came in? That wasn't the big elephant in the room, but okay. when Mark Resnick from the Goo Goo Dolls came in and bought 50 bears for his daughter's bar mitzvah. And Natasha overstuffed all of them. Sorry. Okay. okay. It was a, such a de delicious. It was a good episode. That's an amazing episode. Order, and we were kind of running around, and then we realized the bears were stuffed wrong, and he had his daughter's bat mitzvah, and it was just a lot going on. And I think we were all pretty frazzled. Yeah. The kind of tensions got really high, and I was kind of like this. Whoa. Tensions yeah. are high right now. <laughs> Wonder what's going to happen. And Sylvia, you tackled Mark Resnick of the Goo Goo Dolls. And then you set up your own B12 stand at his at his daughter's bar mitzvah, which was so inappropriate. Natasha did do well, that. Well, I they okay, I they didn't have any vendors, right? And so bar mitzvahs I, don't need vendors. Well, where are these kids gonna get their supplements <laughs> if I just saw that there was a bar mitzvah with no supplements at it, and I just tried to help? But I, I if that wasn't the move and based on the tweets that the official Goo Goo Gulls Twitter account sent about me are true, I, I guess that wasn't welcome, but I misinterpreted the situation. It's crazy that they uh, the official Goo Goo Dolls tweeted at you. 
subtweeted you. That was kind of messed up of them. I think that's really. I am really messed up, and I'm so sorry. I just need to take a walk. Where are you going? Stop! Don't come back! Come back, Natasha! Come back, Natasha! Natasha, come back! Natasha, who's that? Who is that? (laughs) Who are you talking to? I'm sorry, guys. I know he was fired in the first episode, but I've been talking to Brian. What? Oh my God! Brian is bad for you. Brian is bad for you. I think he should come back because I think he has a lot of good ideas for how to run the store, and I don't know what to say. Like I, I know that what he did to those bears was not right. I don't care about what he did to the bears. He cut that kid's finger off. He cut that kid's finger off. He did on purpose. (laughs) He's a convicted felon. (laughs) And he's he in the interpreted the situation and he acknowledges that and he took accountability for that but I know it's in his heart and he's in, like he, he's in the top 3 running for being potentially that one serial killer in New York City that is currently how, there How can how can you misinterpret running up to a kid and putting a knife to their neck <laughs> So he, that's not misinterpretation. He's no. a convicted oh, I'll, felon. I'll Natasha. build a bear with your heart. All I need is your skin. <laughs> it's right. cut and dry. That's right. It's cut and dry. He was trying even, to make real life build a bear. Even he acknowledges that was not his proudest moment. Um, and he, you know, he has a different version of events. And I know what's in his heart. And what's in his heart is someone who just really wants to tap dance. And Are you guys hooking up? Are you guys be honest? Because I thought we finally had a thing that we were going to maybe work out. Oh, no, not again. Yeah. Yeah. I And I know, Jude, and I know we've been attempting to move that forward. But to be honest, the way that you talk so slow that we haven't been able to kiss yet. And it's been like three or four episodes worth of filming and You're I just always don't in know a bad mood, get there. too. You're always uh, in a bad mood. She is always in a bad mood. Uh, right. But and Natasha, I, I have you, to tell you something. I just got off the phone. That's where you what were? What happened? <laughs> I was on the phone. Uh huh. <laughs> what happened? They're opening a second location. What? Wait, what? There, there are a lot of locations already of Build a Bear. They're opening a second location that they're going to also film at. Wait. Wait, what? have we talked to Lucy about this? Because. She said that we were, that we were her golden girls, essentially. Like we were. Wait, her... I think I remember this. I got an email asking if I maybe wanted to transfer to a build a bear in Dubai. Are they doing? They're doing build a bitch Dubai. And they're gonna have us verse each other. Oh, build we're gonna have to Dubai battle versus. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna have us verse each other oh, we're gonna no. have to verse each other they're gonna have us verse each other <laughs> they're gonna have oh, us no. verse each other this is a nightmare this is my nightmare oh, this guys. is oh, so gosh. bad this means we don't have the juice to sustain ourselves they have to put us in different reality show situations this is fucked because what Did happened say- was I'll tell you what happened They, <coughs> I got a text from. not a call <laughs> no I got a text from. And you always have to take texts in the other room. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta, no, I, okay, let me explain the Let her thing. say it. Well, you keep on you're just saying you, I got a text you're always from. such a bad mood, Natasha. Sylvia, put your gun down. Sylvia, Sylvia, put your gun put away. Your gun Sylvia, down. No, it's your pants. Just, it's your pants. Sylvia, hitting my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia, please. No, but, but put your knife her down, too. A- Stab her! Stab Andrew her with a knife! He was just digging into my sock line. I just took it out. And, and I it was digging don't into my weapon out so fast. Like, you're about to do something. No, that's your interpretation. I, understand. I got a text. I got a text from Corazal. And she said, the bitch is back. So I called her. And the bitch is back. And she's going to be running Build a Bear Dubai. Oh, my God. Cortisol? My, Wait, my, Cortisol my ex-girlfriend, running? my ex-girlfriend who I was in love with, who I dated for 25 years before we started the show. Cortisol made my face so swollen. <laughs> no. Co- yeah, she made my face swollen, too. From crying, from breaking my, my heart. Recipe. I will never forgive her. Cortisol's a villain. She texted me. She said, the bitch is back. So then I got up and I made the phone call. Because Whoa. also that's her favorite karaoke song. So you have to ask her. Whoa. Wait, did you also really get booed? Up. 
Did you also oh. get food when you got up? Yeah. yeah. So I so I went to go eat at the food court. <laughs> Oh. So you took a test, that's a when you text, got the a text? phone call, and Wait, an eat. <laughs> so, <laughs> a text, a phone call, and an eat. Uh, it's a classic break move. And they're going to have us versus each other. Whoa. This is so much. I don't know how I we're going to continue. I don't want to verse them. I really don't want to verse them. <laughs> Hold on. Kaitalon, I'm sorry. You literally left for a little bit to get food. <laughs> It's also, we're in the middle of a show. She always does this. <laughs> she She's does in this. the middle of her shift. She does this all the time. And guess too. who's left? I'm, I'm left to dress anemic. the bear. I'm anemic. I need to eat every 15 minutes. Oh my God, Kaitalon. That's take, not go what anemic means. Kaitalon can't go 30 minutes without bringing up her anemia and how much it affects her life. <laughs> and how tiny and cold she always is. Whoa, this is crazy. Things are really heating up. Huh. I I okay, have an Jude, iron deficiency. I take your anger issues right now. Jude, this situation is toxic enough without you exploding like that. Which Jude? Which Jude? I don't fucking know. <laughs> wow. I don't know how we're going to get through today. <laughs> it's another crazy day, huh? <laughs> wow. Wait, Jude T. You want to do address the elephant in the room. I think the elephant's gotten even bigger at this point. Might as well bring it up. What? What? Oh. Earlier you yeah. said you wanted to address the elephant in the room. Uh -huh. Unless that was one of your filler phrases you were trying to use. Quick, uh, because so the I'm class about to... taught me always to bring up elephants in the room. I'm not sure what they meant, but Why I Why are want... you so upset right now? Oh, whoa, gosh. This is like a lion's den. And okay. I feel like I'm trapped right in the middle. <laughs> well, I do have an elephant to bring up, and that's I have jealousy an I have. in the room. Oh, jealousy? whoa. Jealousy? I have jealousy for jealous Sylvia. Of? So, Sylvia, there's this moment in every episode, which is this non sequitur kind of 45 second to minute and a half moment, kind of two thirds through each episode, where it is like a segment of the show that has nothing to do with the rest of the show. And it's always yeah. about you. It's always about you getting some sort of drink and coming back. Or it's always about you going to your car and finding a rat in it. And it's always about you doing something. And I and wish I could have some of those boop, moments. Boop, 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 boop. You ain't doing, doing, doing. Yeah. You see the guy underneath it? Where it's like, <laughs> That. <laughs> You're getting like a comedy edit, which is like not <laughs> fair because it's I taking never, time away from us. Sorry. I never asked for that at all. The producers liked what I do in my free mi 45 second minute break that I take every day because you all take at least an hour, hour and a half break. They liked what I was doing in my break. So they follow me to my car. I always have interesting things in there. Not because... <laughs> It's not they my sometimes, fault. I, I don't even able? know what's interesting about what you're doing because I they I gave you that day when you were writing tax forms in the like closet can I, can and I you get were just doing your taxes and they were like do 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 hold on a minute hold on a minute Kaitalon 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 you don't need to that's not did what you, Amelia means did you literally just order a burrito bowl and a frappuccino that is gross stop Going to the combination Chipotle Starbucks. <laughs> that place is gross, and they mix the machines. And Whoa. I need sugar and protein. Wow, this is crazy. Well, going I feel to like a, a lion a... in the middle of a lion pit. <laughs> Jeremy, the, I mean, the snakes Jude, are out. <laughs> keep your voice down. Judy, if you were a lion in the middle of a lion pit, it wouldn't be an issue. Wow, this is really a <laughs> snake pit that I've fallen into. <laughs> crazy. I guess the claws are out today. Jude? I guess. If you don't get your, your anger under control, anger, your toxic masculinity is destroying this it's show. It's ruining this company. So I guess, my, I guess for me, my question is, what is something that you guys learned this season over the season? What oh are you talking God. about? <laughs> but you have got to quit those classes. They are not serving. They are not serving you. Well, What's I the name of the guy who teaches? I have an elephant in the room. Wait, I have an elephant in the room. Can I be honest though, Jude T? I went to the um the guy who teaches those classes. I went to a show of his at Flappers, and it was bad. Mm. He, so I mean, don't think he's very good. You mean he was bad? He wasn't good. You so went it to might a not class? be your fault, is what he's saying. His well, all he, of his stand-up was about how about buttons versus overalls, and it was really, really well, bad. He has some really good is, notes wait, about wait, wait, like wait, wait. he's. Well, yeah. Can you what, do the buttons can versus you elaborate overalls? Elaborate on what buttons versus overalls. <laughs> <laughs>
those yeah. two things diametrically opposed? <laughs> no, that's why it was bad. He he said, propose in a world, buttons do the same thing as overalls. And then you had to, and, he, and, it, and it, then he had to, you had to kind of go along with him. And he was like, imagine buttons being as big as overalls. Everyone was like, we, we don't pedestal. know. Like, where are we going? That's my note for him. I was confused. You guys but know that guy just teaches hosting? He teaches, he hosting? he teaches hosting and stand-up. Stand up at my D-W-I-S And you go to his shows, Jude? D? Yes, I went to his show because I was hanging out with 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 the cortisol. What? What? I'm what? Look. You know how I said she broke my heart. Build a bitch Dubai. I'm being transferred over to Dubai because they oh, need no. a specialist in voice recordings and they like what I do. No! That, no! You always hold this over us that you're the only one who knows how to do ADR and yeah. we can't figure it out. Who's yeah, gonna stink and up that's the why my edits now. are fucking clean because I can say whatever I want in that ADR well, booth and you guys well, don't know well, what I to do. Think, I think you're so privileged to be able to have clean edits because you don't, you, you, your body doesn't need to refuel itself every 15 minutes. It's not the yeah, anemia, that's right. and that's not what anemia is. Cotillion is struggling right now. Judy. My name Natasha. is Catalan, you cunt. My name is Catalan. You can't use that word. You have to use the, the, the fake word. We you need to, to be current. able to clip this. Current. And you constantly make it so that we cannot clip our fights. And that is the most egregious part. Cunt, Is cunt, you cunt, 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 cunt. No, don't say it that much. <laughs> what? Look, I don't care. Okay. Whoa. I feel like the Beatles are heating up. Demonetize my ass. I feel like the Beatles are heating up. I feel like the Beatles are heating up. I'm just one of the smaller Beatle in the mix of the Beatles. Let's see if Jude can survive this one. <laughs> are you talking in third person, Jude? <laughs> Danimal, if you're out, then I'm out. I have news too. I have a record label. What? Uh, you have I, one? I have <laughs> you own a record label? <laughs> you own I'm a out. whole label? I'm out. I have a record label. Why have you been working at Build a Bear? I just <laughs> bought the record label. They're going to help me find a place to put my songs out online. Oh my God, of course. Your last name, Katie Lon Cisco. You're obvious. I've just put it together. You're the heir of Cisco. Of Cisco. Cisco. Cisco communication Cisco. services or the singer or, Cisco. Or the, <laughs> the communication like the system. Stuff. Not so Cisco, not the, the Cisco. artist. Not Thong Song. Not Cisco, not the Thong restaurant Thong. supply company. <laughs> no, that is it. That is that is Cisco, the restaurant supply company. That's, why are so many, Why are there so many Ciscos no. that are so good at what they do? Stop yelling I at me! Cisco also provided just like a Wi-Fi provider. Just stop! Just Look, stop! Either whoa, way, this whoa, is guys. devastating. Cotillion, you were my best friend. But whatever. Guys, guys, we couldn't really hear it because of Zoom, but Jude just but screamed Jude really just had loud. Freak out! <laughs> you guys couldn't Did hear you? that. That's no, so devastating, actually. <laughs> well, everyone yeah. else will be able to hear. I was like... wondering why you guys kept talking. <laughs> well, it almost looks like you were screaming. Thing. It looked like without. You were... Don't worry, the audio really picked up on it. Can we talk about the elephant in the room? Uh, well, I want to talk about how you just blew your freaking lid in a way no, that I had never I'm seen. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know what I want to talk about? Chase. <gasps> okay, this is what the elephant in the room yeah. was for me. Is Sylvia's big blow up on episode four. All play about it. Chase. Play, play the clip. Let's play the clip. <laughs> you told so, me that you and Natasha were over. And I took you into this back room and I gave you the best 10 minutes of your life. And now you're telling me that you're in love with somebody else? Who is babe, she? Babe, you're confused, babe. Listen Weeow. to me. I don't think I'm confused. I think the only confusing thing is how such a tall man can carry around such a tiny little thing. Babe, please don't talk about my member on the screen. Please don't talk about my member, babe. We're not one, on screen. Can I get Nobody one can one packet see of cherries. One packet of cherries. 
And don't not, speak um, over the clip. We, we can still, <laughs> your audio is still on. <laughs> They're playing the clip. One pack of cherries and then two cake tops. Thank you. Kaylon, so you're not. <laughs> they sell packs of cherries at, <laughs> at Chipotle, yes. What? They do? <laughs> They I sell have a packs of label. cherries at the Chipotle <laughs> X Starbucks Club. Wow, <laughs> things wow, are I really heating up. I guess I gotta check that out. It's so Dude, calm honestly, down. <laughs> honestly, this is the first time I'm seeing that clip, and <laughs> it feels really. I'm really disgusted by what I saw because I can't believe that Sylvia, you and Chase were just doing that so openly. And so fragrant. Natasha, and you broke his heart and you moved on to that other guy. But I wasn't done with him yet. I like, I think that's what's just so egregious. And what was so upsetting I think it's is egregious to see how that you're horny talking he about was him. for you. Look, there's a lot he, of people horny for me, okay? This there isn't is. New. Remember, I know. Do you guys remember when we did that hot dog on a stick crossover episode because their staff has a show? That was and, crazy. And yeah. Sylvia, you were messy, dude. dude. You broke up two marriages in that store. <laughs> Not I didn't do all I do is stand around. I live my life like <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm as boring as could be and people come to me. The producers follow me to my car. The the married men follow me to my car. I'm not asking for any of it. I think I'm pretty mundane. Why yeah. do they keep on finding all that stuff in your trunk, though? It's like there's not. It's like band aids. It's like air tire pressure things. It's like old tissues. I yeah, I didn't like that one. That one minute and a half clip where you were just showing all the types of band aids you have in your car. That's I why I'm jealous. That's what I'm saying. It's that's why I'm jealous. I don't think I've ever seen that clip. Can we see that clip? Let's yeah. see that clip. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, so I have these for just sort of everyday scrapes and, and stuff, and then I have these for, um, these are larger, so like, let's say your whole kneecap is injured, you can actually put it over the whole kneecap, and then I have these that have a gauze backing, so let's say the bleed is really intense, and it's like, you can, by the way, if a, if a bleed is, is squirting out, that's when you know that it's somebody's life is at risk and then you might have to put a tourniquet on it which i also have in my trunk and uh these bandages are like for spot for like acne spots and then i have i don't know i have a few other boxes back here i'd have to rummage around if you guys want to know one plate of chili and a god of damn it catalan <laughs> i can't and while the worst thing about that clip is that while that was happening, I was literally slapping Cotillion in the face and there were no cameras to cover it because they were covering you showing off your band-aids because you have unspeakable charisma and no matter how much I scream and yell, I will never have even an ounce of what you have. Natasha, I think it's your moodiness. I think you're, you're in a bad just, mood. Cause you're always in a bad mood. And it's crazy. You can, we can't even call it sexism because you're both women. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, you guys, I think it's the B12 supplements. I think they're making me crazy. Are they third party tested? No. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That's probably no, your issue. They're not. No, they're not. Can I oh. can I lift the curtain a little bit and let's talk about what's weighing on us like a little 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 bit? Is your life off camera being affected by your life on camera? Because I think mine mm -hmm. actually is. How no. so? How so? Well, sometimes I go home and I, someone tries to ask me a question about like you know how I'm doing, and I'm just like shut up. And I start to fight with people. And it's like, I feel like they're trying to get us to fight with each other. And I didn't used to fight this much! <laughs> Wait, who's trying? <laughs> Your friends at home are trying to get you to fight with them? No, the producers on stay on, on the camera. The producers are getting us to fight. And it's affecting my life. It's making me think, what if this was a fight? All the time. Yeah, I'm starting to see because they're splicing more ring camera footage of your apartment into the show. Yeah. And you're kind of like starting a lot of fights about the dishwasher that seem 
honestly way out of proportion and to be i think you're a little wrong in that because you're insisting that the plates sit on top of the little things when they definitely slot in like a library book i want them horizontal i want them horizontal like an old timey diner with a big stack of plates and I think this is you causing drama and like that's what's so hard about this show like we have to figure out how to separate work I don't want them to use my ring camera footage. They caught me pushing that old woman into her own trash can last week Well, that was <laughs> fucked up Well, she had her bins out on Wednesday and it was trash day on Friday Hey, I'd like a, a large frappuccino No okay. Just almond milk uh, yeah, no. sure, I can get Sylvia, you that. can you get me one? Sylvia, can you get me one? No, you, me you one? guys can't order these! Hold on, you don't need another one. Can, <laughs> can you get me one? You can guys one? Right, can I get two to the Starbucks Chipotle? They're not even really operated by those companies. This is a shanty operation. <laughs> I'm on my one one minute break. I don't. I didn't mean to affect you guys. Guys, I know it's a Starbucks and a Chipotle, but it's mostly a gas station. Why don't you see that? Wow. The, oh wolves, my God. the wolves are out to play, and I guess I'm just the clown in the middle. <laughs> Jude, oh if you God. don't get your anger under control. <laughs> Stop it, everyone. It's me, Lisa Vanderpump. Oh, what? I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm Lisa who? Vanderpump. I don't. That means nothing to me. Yeah, who is that? I'm the showrunner of the show. You idiots. <gasps> oh. Oh. Okay. Hi. Oh, you're this... not the showrunner. Isn't Lucille Bildebear? It's no. Some it's always been me. Shadowy figure named Lisa Vanderpump. Yes, it's always been me, and I'm here to tell you. Build-A-Bear Dubai isn't real. We just made that up to make you guys angry. And you didn't even take the bait. You're canceled. We're canceling the show. Oh my god. Because we didn't get mad about Dubai? Because, because you're boring. The, the trailer that, didn't stream well? The, the trailer's numbers are in the tank. The trailer numbers views? are in the tank. Uh, how many how views? Many, how many views? It's hard to... It's hard to pull... You have, four view, you have four views on your trailer. Well, hold on a minute. That might be on YouTube, but have you checked Nuvo? And have you checked Tubi? And have you okay. checked, have you checked uh, Put Locker? I'm have so rich. Have you checked how many Tubi plays? Have you checked my watch movies one, two, three? I'm sorry, Did you dude. check the Roku channel? <laughs> have you checked the Watch Mojo Roundup? <laughs> Should, okay, wait. These are all good for me to check. Do you have any more I oh, should check? Oh, you haven't. You haven't. What else should I check? Can you check, che check Fubi? <laughs> can you check Fubi and Tubi? Can you check Tubi and then Fubi? Can you check Googie? Okay, get, now Gooby. Dude, Fubi. now you're just making up stuff. And can you check Can you check Bebo? I'm can sorry. You check you're cancelled. Well, I guess that's the thing we learned this season. We get canceled. <laughs> and I don't want the world to see me. That song is real! I've got this cut. I've got six different sizes of band-aids. This has been Artists on Artists on Artists answering the question. Now that's why they call it showbiz. Good night, Hollywood. Hey guys, if you like us, make sure to subscribe to our Patreon. We play fun games, do post episodes, and hang out with you all the time. We're going to say secrets, we're going to say confessions, and we're going to say the favorite snacks we have. So if you like hanging out with us, make sure to head over to our Patreon so you can hang out with us even more. Love ya, see you Love there. Love you. Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists is an improvised Hollywood roundtable podcast created, performed, and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Colhane, Angela Giratana, and Patrick McDonald. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AOAOAOA are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. That's all for now. Good night, Hollywood!